the person you're dealing with is someone you have broken up, separation, whatever, right? But I think right now you're in your own power. This person out here lacked, lacked commitment. They lacked stability. They couldn't offer you stability or security. And you're someone here who means business. I feel all this while you wanted commitment with this person. You wanted something stable and secure with them. Um, they won't be able to offer this to you. So you've moved on. I feel you're in a very happy place, in a very safe and secure place, focused on yourself, your financial goals, and uh, enjoying the luxuries of life, or enjoying, enjoying the fruits of your labor, whatever work you've put in. I think you're enjoying the fame, you're getting a lot of attention out here. This person out here is lacking, um, uh, the, there's a lot of self-doubt from their side. You know, this person has a hard time getting things off ground with you. You kind of sort of are still stuck in your head or still stuck on them, okay? But this person here lacks commitment. That's the biggest problem out here with the four of wands and divorce here. Tradition could be an issue here. Family could be a problem here, you know. But there is a lack of stability and security. They don't initiate, okay? There's lack of initiation from this person's side to make things stable between you both. You, on the other hand here, you may, with the Nine of Pentacles, or maybe you're putting yourself out there, maybe you're dating, I mean, it doesn't have to be, but maybe you're just like too attractive right now, okay? You're uh, attracting a lot of people out here with that abundant mindset. But with the Eight of Swords, I feel somewhere, somehow, you are still stuck on this person, okay? So it could be the way you're just like outside, you show, you're very cool, you're okay with it, or you're just focused on your money, but deep within, you know you're stuck on this person here. You can't move on from this person. It's a negative mindset. Nothing else. But with the four of wands in reverse here, I do feel that this person here, if they want to make things happen, this person feels like you've shut the door on their face. Hmm. See, all you want is an equal give and take here. You want that commitment here. You want peace, harmony. You want a balanced relationship here where you both meet each other, you know, halfway. You tried that. A million times you've tried that like a zillion times but it just didn't work out now you've given up and this person has a hard time healing this person has a hard time moving on and they're feeling very hopeless in this connection you have a negative mindset here they have a negative mindset here with the star in reverse here there's a lot of healing that needs to be done there's an imbalance here either they're overthinking or they're doing something too much overindulging probably you know, there has to be like a calm, you know, after the storm here. That's what's not happening here. That's what's not happening here. You feel you are stuck. You feel you have nowhere to go, but you can. You need to trust your intuition is what I'm getting here. You need to trust your intuition. You're come, you've come out almost. You're almost there. You've already got out of that codependent energy. But with eight of swords, you're mentally, you're overthinking and overanalyzing the situation. You know, you are, which is probably causing a lot of mental anguish and stress and anxiety. Could be affecting your um, your sleep patterns. Could be affecting your uh, health in a very bad way. This person sees you as the one they want. You know, they have a lot of passion for you. They see you as the one they want. They see you as the one that they want to. Uh, that's like the price. You know, their eyes are on the price. But again, apart, apart from having a negative mindset, this person is not even putting in the work and effort out here. Because all the cards are reversed here, except the Queen of Wands here, which is telling me that either there could be a third person here involved between you both, or this could just be uh, them who looks at you like this. They see you as someone very confident, someone who has a lot of self-esteem, someone you know who's out there, who's got a lot of options, etc. And someone who does what they want to. See, there's this waiting energy from their side. Let's see, what action will you do? What action will this person take? I think you're moving out of there. You're moving out. You're moving out of their life. You're moving out of their life. Okay. I think you are just in a hurry to exit this person out here because I don't feel you have any intentions in mind to work with this person. 
you want a balanced relationship and if it's not balanced you're not you're not wanting to invest your energies into this you no longer have the commitment to make this work out with them this person out here is just waiting and watching they're not taking any action whilst you're just like off you you've left the building is what i'm getting or you want to Still no communication, still no clarity because this person keeps crying over spilled milk. See, what's the problem here? This person is in a very negative mindset, okay? They know that they, they want to invest into you, okay? But it's just either it's taking too long or this person is just someone here, you know, who lacks patience or someone here who does not have hope that you will give them a second chance out here. They, they have a lot of self-doubt out here, you know, a lot of self-doubt. Just one second. I'm getting a very strong family, friends could be a big interference from this person's side when it comes to committing to you. Either this person listens to other people's opinions or this person just not feel that you guys are a good fit or you're a good fit with them or again family tradition is what I'm getting here. This person could definitely be listening to other people's opinions which is why they ruined a chance with you and now they're regretting it. Which is why they're holding back communication. They're determined to hold back the truth from coming out. And the truth is that they want you. I don't see them taking any action towards you as yet. Still waiting, contemplating a lot of self-introspection going on from their side. You on the other hand, you're like, you know what? Bye-bye. Yeah, you're just done. You're done with um, a control freak right now. You're just done. You're no longer waiting for them. This person has a habit of controlling you. They want things their way. They they have a lot of insecurities, and those deep insecurities they kind of you know uh, portray it on you. But they want you. They want you to be under their control. They want to message you when they want to. They want to call the shots all the time. And for you, it's becoming. This person's becoming very overbearing also. And very rigid. I feel this is a very rigid personality you're dealing with. It's very hard to change the way they think. So, why well, are you stuck? <laughs> Can you miss that? You have the passion for them. You want them, but you're just stuck on them. Babe. Okay, you're holding back. At least you're taming the situation. I like that. I like that. Well, anyways, you're just leaving because you know it's no point here. Wasting, I mean, it's just going to be a waste of time. What you're looking for is completely different. And um, now it's like the kind of men, oh, sorry, not men, the kind of people that you want to date. It's like, you know, you have very high standards. And this person clearly does not match any of those standards is what I'm getting here. They're watching you. They're, they're very attracted to you. They see you as the one they want. They see you're the eye candy. You're very attractive. But um, they're still waiting, waiting to probably make the next move or waiting and watching what's going to happen next. So you know what? This person does not, do, they don't do the action and then wait for what, what should be, what, should, what is the consequences. They wait for the consequences and then they put in the action. I think that's what they're doing. And that's why they keep crying over spilt milk, right? They keep crying over what happened in the past. There are two more cups left. See with the five of cups here, right? Three are spilled. They have two more left. But they won't pick those two cups up and still try to salvage the connection. They still hold back communication, which leads to even more um, um, lack of clarity out here. Anyways, I mean, you're anyways off. You're no longer wanting to wait for this person. You feel they're just not on the same page with you. You feel you're like you're hitting a wall every time you try to talk to them. Yeah, you are stuck on them, right? But probably you will soon realize that you don't want to be stuck in your head anymore. You'll release yourself. Trust your intuition. Trust your intuition. You have the strength to get over this. Do that. Do that. Okay. So that's what I have for you. Hope this reading resonates. Leave your comments below and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.